It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me. Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Is that Sam Higgs? Trying to get back in the newspaper game? I thought you got the message last night. Of course, it was hard to tell. Considering you let Declan do your talking for you. Look, fellas. You know, Basswood can be a dangerous place. Well, so maybe consider just getting before something bad happened to you. I'll leave when I'm good and ready. Just make it sooner rather than later. De Declan's right down the street. Watch yourself while you're in Basswood, because we'll be watching you. used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis! Dennis. What happened? Who... Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? You can think through any problem. Keep going. You got this. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it.
This is Dennis' office. There must be some clues around. Sam, keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. His gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? The shooter used Dennis's gun, but I didn't have it this morning. And how did I get the blood on me? A blood trail leads off. Someone or something moved through it. Me? The blood has been disturbed. By what? The blood pooled where Dennis fell, so the body was moved. If I moved it, that's how the blood got on my shirt. I have the complete picture now. Blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching.
Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. The puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. And Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. If I had the code, I could get in here. Valid question. Still not sure. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. It was a good guess, just not the right one. I should keep looking. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work, or stolen? Weird. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late. Nick, Anna, and me. staring at me. It was a good guess, just not the right one. I should keep looking. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things.
might be something around here that hints at Walter's password. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. That was just after Anna came on. And we really were a small clan. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. at Walter's password. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. And I'm in. Let's see what secrets you got in here, Walter. Mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. The car really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him, and his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. I think it's time I check Nick's office. Hope he still leaves his notes out. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen?
There's a lot of junk in here, but none of it is useful to me. treated us like family. Something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. Four digits. Wonder if that's the new code for the archives. Of snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. What was he looking for? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Dennis tried to talk to me about Nick, and that's what got him killed. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I, is listen he... to me. Anna, I did not kill Dennis. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so... Drunk, I arrived late, and the person that actually showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did at first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is gonna find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. 
You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Okay. But not that phone. Use one of the landlines here and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. I'm going with you. I don't know if that's a good idea. You trusted me before. It's only fair I do the same for you. I'll call the cops from here so they can't track us. All right. We are. It barely looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to. Sure, I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're overfocused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember, especially how you always end up being right somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. This is the place. get to the bottom of this. First, gather the clues. Cold, hard, plain facts. That's the only way I'll know what really happened. Best to leave her alone. It's a lot to take in. Kindling. It was pretty intense judging the damages to the area. The bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. No skid marks, no trace of sudden braking. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road.
an animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road. Fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. And drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. don't add up.
How could the signs have burned during the crash then? Only one violation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong. I thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you alright? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. Okay, so, about Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please, it'd just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself, as well. You used to live here, and now, some other guy, Nick, of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. I'm different. But am I different enough to not fall into old patterns? Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. 